All right, moving on. A Peabody Award goes to Command Mistake, a report that followed leads to Washington and Baghdad and led to changes in military policy that secured greater protection for American soldiers in Iraq. Saving the lives of American troops could begin here in Indiana at two businesses that make a portion of the pads for the helmets. So why is it taking the military so long to implement it here in Iraq where it's needed right now so badly? IT Mate observed a classified briefing in Fallujah. One main focus, helmet pads, presented by the chief surgeon. But as a doctor who sees the injuries coming in, does your gut feeling tell you yes or no, we need pads? Oh, I can find absolutely nothing that says we need pads. My helmet is not padded. Despite that pronouncement, IT Mate learned the need for military helmet pads is documented as early as 2003. Two neuropsychologists at the Defense and Veterans Brain Injury Center at Walter Reed went on record nearly three years ago. The Kevlar is great against penetration injuries, but doesn't provide much protection from concussion injuries because it is not well padded. Accepting the Peabody is news anchor and investigative reporter Karen Henso. Well, like so many of you, I had a great team. Photographer David Hodge and photographer Eric Miller, who's here with me, who worked 12 hour days in 120 degree heat with blisters on his feet over in Iraq. So thank you for that. To my incredible editor, Doug Moon, you edit with heart and it shows incredibly talented. To news director Kevin Finch, our former news director Tom Cochran, to our general manager Jeff White, thank you for believing. And you know what I mean, you believed from the get-go. To Scott Blumenthal, our vice president of Lynn Television, Peabody's are not one without opportunity. Thank you for the opportunity, especially in local television. But truly, this Peabody is dedicated to the American service men and women who are over in Iraq and while we were there they treated us as Americans first and journalists second. So to all of them, thank you for your service and for your sacrifice. And thank you for the Peabody. <laughs>